Hey, what's going on, Rattler? So I'm in a place that I have wanted to come for a thousand years. Yeah. I am at Camp Kennan. What's going on? It's good to have you, man. Yeah, thank you, man. And uh, Clint from Clint's Reptiles is somewhere around here filming the top five best tortoises, turtles that are found here at Camp Kennan's. We are going to do a video on the top reptile. What are we doing? Well, I don't know. You know, there's a lot of famous lizards out there. Gus Gus with Clint. Here, we've got Slinky, and I'm really excited to meet Slinky. So we're gonna go take a tour of Camp Cannon's place here and see the top five biggest, bestest lizards that Camp Cannon has here. I'm Dave Kaufman, that's Cannon Harkin, and these are our reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. So we're gonna start with... Slinky. Oh, no, Pinky. Pinky. What am I talking Pinky about? Slinky. Yeah, Pinky Slinky. Pinky Every, Slinky. You know, they've, the kids kind of helped me with the names. Yeah, right? yeah. Now, no, they're good names. They're, they're fun names. Um, and I've always loved monitor lizards since I was a young lad. And um, we're gonna start with this pretty gal here. Yeah, yeah. And she and I, you can walk right in, watch sure. your head. Uh, she and I yeah, yeah. have That's been developing more of a relationship. Friendly, sure. You know, yep. um, the thing that I love about the lizards, because uh, people know me a lot for tortoises. Sure. What I love, and I've always loved all reptiles, but lizards in particular, because I really think there's some intelligence here with these monitors. And I love it when an animal decides you're going to become its friend. It decides, and that to me is the most exciting thing. So with the monitors, you know, when we meet Slinky here in a little while, yep. you're going to find that, that he's like just so interactive with me. I've been working on this gal. Uh, it's been going very, very well. Uh, she's very curious, and I have to throw a shout out to my buddy Kevin McCurley from Nerd, because I've gotten such great info from him. And you see that curiousness? That, uh, oh, by the way, that yeah, microphone going looks right like for the a rabbit. Cover yeah. Again, yeah. What are you doing? Come here. <laughs> That's not food. Come here. And so I like to look at this. You know, she's, she's a female Asian water monitor. Oh, come here. She's nervous. She thinks she's going to fall. She's a female Asian water monitor. And she is full grown. Some of these she locales can stay beautiful. small. She's just a little nervous because she thought she was going to fall. Yeah, yeah. But um, basically, uh, you know, this animal, I hope to breed with Slinky at some point. I don't want to get caught. I'm very helpful to Yeah, yeah, creatures. absolutely. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, she's really cool. So Hi, she's sweetheart. number one on the list of cool lizards that yeah, I have here. Yeah, for sure. She is really warmed up to me, man. That's the cool thing about these monitors, and what we're trying to do is desensitize them to just go for fingers. I always make the fist, like I was told. Sure, of course. Um, and then, you know, once they're calm, you can get get to petting them but yeah she's a great lizard man so that's what i like about these guys um they're very smart very intelligent absolutely there now talk a little bit about why she's full grown at this size well you know different localities of asian water monitors from different islands are going to have different max sizes Just like retics and there you go yep. Come on, look at this see this yeah, this is what's so cool about her so she wants to explore me she's like usually you come in dad and you've got food <laughs> um and you know she ate uh four chicks just two days ago so she's not gonna eat again for another few days sure, sure. but yeah it's just a locality issue um you know some of them some of the insular species grow very large some stay small right um it's just uh where she was from i just love the level of inquisitiveness that Absolutely. this animal has look at this you know uh so she's just tremendous just a, a great little lizard so that's number one on our stop let's uh get you guys some more animals we're gonna go meet a newer arrival um who i'm really excited about because she's another female water monitor uh, excuse me female monitor but not a water monitor. In fact, she's one of the monitors that gets a bad rap. Yes, they do. Let's go check out All the right. clock monitor. Good to meet you, Slinky Pinky. So we're gonna go meet the newest arrival as far as monitors. I got her nine months ago. In fact, you and I met each other in Australia earlier this That's year. That's right. Where we bonded on a very fun road it trip was up, awesome. the, up the Gold Coast. Um, when I got home, I received this animal. It's a crocodile monitor. Her name is Lagatha. She came from a a uh, gentleman who became a friend of mine, who was a viewer, but liked what I do with the animals and wanted her to become an ambassador sure. animal. Sure. Uh, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna meet Lagatha. Lagatha, love yeah. it. Yeah, she's a shield maiden. Let's see where she's at. Oh, she's right out on her perch. She's right out so on her So I am gonna oh, yeah, just say, perfect. you know reptiles. So we're not gonna shove the camera right in her face. She's still a little Absolutely. bit nervous. I wanna continue to build that trust. 
Um, but this is what we're going to do. You're going to go in first. Just stand right there. Yep, I'm going to be the guinea pig here. No, you're fine. <laughs> She's not like, like super mean. So let me get up close. Got to so watch she... out for the uh, tortoises. Yeah, down those here. Are, that's my grounds crew. They keep the weeds from growing up. So this is Lagatha. I'm going to get on her good side. Hi, Lagatha. Because Lagatha actually has one blind eye. That's what which, you were saying. Yeah, it happens with some of these wild caught animals. Sometimes they bask under artificial lights uh, for too long and they develop cataracts. Um, at least that's what I was told. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go with that. But just for us to be in here like we are at this moment has taken eight months. It's been about a month since we're able to interact with you. You're the first non Kenan in here with her. Is that right? That's the, the truth. Yeah. So. Um, She's basically um, calming down. I'm building trust. She's eaten out of my hands before. And um, usually I feed her on tongs. But if I were this close, maybe four months ago, she'd be puffing up. She'd be upset. She'd be, you know, just feeling very insecure. So we've started to develop this trust between us. Um, I don't know necessarily if I need her to become like Slinky, as we'll see in a little bit. Right. But she has definitely come a long way. So who knows, in another three years, this animal could be very tame. Absolutely. The thing with croc monitors is they've got the largest teeth of any lizard. These are a boreal. steak knives for teeth. That's, and when you get a bite with one of these dudes, you know it. That's right. Finger amputations, not uncommon. Bad lacerations. These are an incredibly dangerous lizard, straight up. Right. I don't want to demonize them, but they're dangerous. Right. Um, well, so the truth. This, is, this is not. Hey, uh, excuse oh, me. did you just get guys. We're talking about danger. Come on, guys. Yeah, you're, you're getting nailed. Here, step up on the yeah. platform. Do, do those look like little, like, fruity things to eat there, buddies? They're Come giving on. you the manicure, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm going up. All right, so we were talking about dangerous animals. Yeah. There and, we go. And, and as we're talking, <laughs> they skip that. I, listen, I've been in here filming videos, and I've been in my sandals, and I've been right next to her just being very calm. And all of a sudden, I get bit by a tortoise, and I freak out. It's just like it's the funniest thing. So you can see, I'm just going to go ahead. I, I don't push my luck. I show her my hand. I always have a little bit of a, of kind of a fist. Yeah. This is very close, guys. This is like really cool stuff. So, I don't know. You can see she's not going after my hand, which is nice. You know, it's not like some crazy feed response. Um, these animals are way smarter than you think. And again, I'm, I'm applying techniques that I learned from Tom Crutchfield and uh, Kevin Curley. Kevin, right? You know, the, 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 this is not my own uh, information. This is information right. that I got. Well, there's nobody um, that can tame a, a monitor like Kevin. No, Kevin definitely I mean, he, has yeah. been great. Um, so I taught him everything he knows. Oh, he'll never incredible. admit that. He'll never. That, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was me. Oh yeah, yeah. uh, no, Kevin's a great guy. <laughs> Both of you, long hair. I wish I still had my long hair. Uh, we'd be like yeah. Well, let me tell you something. In, in this Florida weather, man, I'm kind of You're thinking about I'm cutting. I'm looking it. for those steak knives right now to cut this hair off. Yeah. Well, anyway, great lizard, beautiful animal. Our boreal uh, hunter of the tree. They call them the tree crocodile. Right. Uh, they'll eat birds. They'll eat small mammals, small reptiles, uh, basically like any other monitor, anything they can catch and overpower and kill. Yeah. 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 Oh, just a so, great, great. And, and for me, and for me, bud, this is like, um, as far as monitors, yeah. them and a Komodo dragon. I saw, you know, the video that you shot when you first got them and mm. you first took them out of the, the container. Yeah. You know, you had your GoPro in here, and and uh, we're filming that. And yeah, he was he was very nervous yeah, to be here. And now nuts. look at him. Yeah, it's it's uh, or it her. is a girl. It is yeah, a girl. Yeah, yeah, her, don't her. worry, that's okay. I don't think she's offended. Yeah, but um, it is a female. Males will get considerably longer. Right. Um, so you're talking. There have been unsubstantiated reports or undocumented reports of like I've heard people say up to 14 feet. Reality, eight to 10 foot. Sure. Uh, full size male croc monitor, mostly tail. Um, and that tails for balance as they are yep, yep. a tree dweller. Just but but, I, but, but you know animal. what, Dave? How cool is this? You're a new person. You're something new. Right. You're in here, and look at her behavior. Well, I mean, Very obviously calm. she's a fan of the channel. Oh, well, so, well, definitely. Yeah, that's why. Who's I'm not? Close, what right? reptile is it? <laughs> Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventures. That's right. LF. That's right. Let me go bring you guys to the probably the most famous and cool lizard that I have. And then, uh, actually, two more lizards we're going to meet. Yep, yep. All right, uh, hang on a second. Go ahead. Good just, meeting you, sweetheart. No worries. Very well behaved. Oh, just gorgeous. I could probably hang out with you all day long, but yes, we do we have we do have some more stuff to see. So guys, I'm sure that, you know, most of my viewers are also Kenan's viewers here, but, you know, and you've watched his videos, but to actually be here and see the scope of what Kenan has built here at Camp Kenan, man, this is... God, this is probably one of the most awesome places I have ever toured, oh, and I'm man, not even you're joking. You're too kind, you're too kind. Uh, this is something, and we were just talking about it with Clint, um, this is something that 
people can attain, man. It's, it's two and a half right. acres. Um, I'm not like a millionaire at all. Um, you know, I do my little YouTube videos. Sure, and, sure. Um, you know, it's just a lot of fun, but I built most everything uh, by myself. Uh, so I just want to inspire people to kind of take the best care of their animals as they can. Absolutely. And you'll forgive me, there's been a lot of rain. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Uh, so we've got a little bit of rain here and we're going to bring him down. Okay. Uh, let's get him down, guys. This is Slinky, everybody. I don't know if you've watched, watch your head when you walk in here because yep, you're kind yep. of, you're a Yeah, no, none of your you're, cages you're are day style. friendly. Look at this. No, no, this is not made for yetis, dude. Get yeah. in here, will you? All right, I'm uh, in. Watch your head, dude. All right, Slinky. Slink. Don't meet everybody. Uh, <laughs> you're a little dirty now, but it's all Oh, right. I don't. Yeah, no. I'm. Look at this. I. I don't even care. That's yeah. the price I just paid. Come here, to Slink. Meet Slink. God, I love this. Movie. I've been wanting to meet Slinky for a long time. You know, there are. There's a lot of famous reptiles out there. You know, Clint's Gus Gus uh -huh. and your Slinky, Slinky is man. really. Come on, Come on, I've Bubba. been looking really forward to meeting Slinky for a long, long time. But do you see what I did? Look, I do this. Right. You'd think that he'd go attack my fingers. No, he's not. He's smart. He knows what food is. He knows what my hands are. When you get a bite, it's going to be your fault. It's going to be an accident. The problem is an accident with a large monitor could be catastrophic That's for a right. digit. Um, but we're going to get him down. I'll just let him get a little bit more curious. Absolutely. And he will. He'll come down. He's uh, not camera shy at all but it's the hottest part of the day as dave can so, attest to oh yeah i'm melting and so the lizards are kind of in the shade at the moment yeah um, yeah yeah but what i want to do is do i am know? uh i'm just completely sweating like trump in the polls oh right now gosh you're a brave man going <laughs> political uh come on dude <laughs> hey, come on over here oh that's a boy i'm gonna oh, reach over such a honey yeah look at it you could pull him i'm gonna just give him a yank oh, oh, like, what are you boy. doing come there here. come here buddy I want you to come down. Oh, I love you, man. Oh, is he? Oh, I think he's he's clawed on, but that's okay. Oh yeah, that's all right. He's that's gonna all come right. down. No, he's gonna come down. But we'll, this we'll lizard I got, I got this guy here now. Yeah, there he goes oh, for the gosh. microphone cover. I think it would have been seven years ago. Yeah. Um, and he was just about this big and very skittish, and I noticed the change in him uh, coming in every day, sitting in here with him. I built this large. Yeah. Once I built this pond for him, he seemed to really um, like lighten up. And I almost think, and I know this is going to sound wacky, but I almost think he he appreciated seeing me build it. Absolutely. And being able to use it. I really believe that. I think it was something that he always wanted. He's a water monitor, so they need to swim. Absolutely. And, and we're actually going to do some really cool renovations to this enclosure here in the coming months. Early 2021, uh, I'm going to be working with Universal Rocks. And we're going to come in and make a beautiful naturalistic enclosure. We're going to jackhammer this out. I'm getting my buddies from Aquascape to make this whole cage is going to be slinky land. So it's that pretty cool. Is Here That is fantastic. Comes. Here it comes. Come on, buddy. So guys, when I did the water monitor in the wild video in Thailand last year, I was talking about enclosures and I talked about how really well put together Kenan's enclosure is for slinky here. But you've got this huge pond here that he can completely submerge himself in. You've got this hide box, places for him to climb. You've got the proper places on the ceiling for sunshine and for uh, shade. And this is the way to set up an enclosure for a and, water And I, I kind of feel he smells my stinkiness. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. st I'm stinky, you're a slinky. Um, <laughs> I think this is one of the best ways, personally, uh, to get an animal to feel comfortable Absolutely. and to tame up. Because let's be honest, all of you guys watching reptile channels love reptiles, and you daydream about having Absolutely. having a big lizard or snake or something that you can interact with more than just the typical. Oh, I'm going to look at it through a uh, terrarium. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, look at this. You know, I bring Slinky out. I let him go walk around. I, he goes swimming in my big guy. rec pond. I mean, this guy. Oh, he's got claws. You know, he yeah, doesn't yeah. mean to hurt you. But, but he's he just got, you know, I mean, he's, he's just holding on. Right? But I, I mean, I just think for me growing up as a young guy, you know, wanting reptiles, yeah. wanting to share space with them. This has always been something that I, I longed for. And I think this is everybody's dream. I, yeah. And, and you can have it. Oh, you fine. Know? I'm taking him oh, home. Well, yeah. No, no, no. You yep. can't have Slinky, him. you want to come to Minnesota? Oh, yeah. He's, he's saying, yeah. I think, I think <laughs> I got the wrong end of Slinky here. You never want to be cloaca to mouth <laughs> with a, with a monitor. Right. It depends on you. Here, why don't you let Clinton? He wants to. Yeah, here, come on in here, Clint. Slinky. 
How do I get in here? Here, I unlock. I unlock you. That's understandable. There you go. But come on, because you might as well the meet the last, uh, oh, okay. the last species of lizard that I'm really excited about keeping. I mean, I have rhino iguanas over there. Yeah, we're going to meet those. Yeah, but we're going to actually meet. Oh, uh, we're going to meet those. The Cubans. Watch your toes. All right. Watch your toes. Hey, hey, I'm hey, just hey. kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey, 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 hey. What you do is just jump and step over. Come here. No, I want to come down and just give you a good Here, shut that door, please. Oh yeah. Oh man, I am so happy to meet Slinky finally. No, nope, the microphone cover is not a rat. Yeah. I've seen a number of snakes that disagree. Oh, so just let him come to you because there's more more people here than normal. So I've never had a bite, but we're just going to let him come to you and let him do his thing. Yeah, yeah. Let him feel comfortable. Do you, um, do you ever do that with lizards that you don't own? You see like shed and you just instinctively you try picking it up, you yeah, know? <laughs> yeah. I think they appreciate it to a degree. Yeah. I think if, as long as it's not too um, attached, here, I think they're they're fine with it, you know? Yeah, I yeah. I have to think if I didn't have opposable thumbs and I had itchy skin on me, I'd right. have somebody. Oh, come here, sweetheart, see, come here. See what you did there? He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, just yeah. let you know. That's yep, about, yep. when he's feeling uneasy, he'll give you a half assed whip of the tail. Yeah, yeah, but well, that was just a, hey, where are you going to put your hand type Right, of thing. right, right. So. Yeah. Oh, such a sweetheart. Yeah, he's a good animal, man. It's so much fun to be, you know, I'm I'm um, definitely part of his life, which is the goal. Mm-hmm. You mm -hmm. know? For me, that, that is Hey, watch like that claw. Watch. Uh, there, the there, you go. there you go. When you just become a part of their world, yeah. and they can behave completely naturally in your presence. That's, Absolutely. That's something... It's an experience you just can't have in any other way. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, so good to meet you. All right. Well, let me show good you to guys. to meet you, man. A different, totally different uh, group of lizards, but I still Ooh. think they're really incredible. They are incredible, but you know what? You need to give me another hour and a half here oh, just to play okay. with Slinky, and then we'll go over there. Look nice. at this beauty. Yeah, that 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 microphone cover. Yeah, is, yeah. And then look at all that luscious hair oh, you've got. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he is jealous of the hair. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh, now you're going to go. Now that you got my pants all messy, now you're going to go. That's a cool lizard. Look at this. Oh, I am so glad to meet you. What a beautiful, beautiful lizard. And really, again, it's been it, raining, so it's a little muddy in here. I mean, I if he ever gets to be too much, just let me know. Ship oh, him up to Minnesota. No I'll, I'll love it in Minnesota. Him. Right, right. You know, it's only, you know, 20 degrees and snowy, but... Yeah, oh, cool animal. Fantastic animal. I'm gonna ruin your video. Oh, yeah? But you set me up for the greatest that's what she said in the history of that's what she said, and I let it go to not no, ruin no, no, your video. No, 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 let it out. Well, when you when you said, you got my pants all messy and now you're gonna go. That's what that's she what said. She said. I, I was thinking that too. I, that, I let it go. I was definitely Michael I, you know, you, you, respect you, your crap. You should have let that go, because it's a little too close to home for me. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your head coming in. Yeah, yeah, not day friendly. You coming okay. in there, uh, Clint? Come on. Yes, sir. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah, these are um, my cyclora. These are my Cuban rock iguanas. That's Senior Guapo. Senior Guapo. And down below is his mate, Lola. And Lola is the boss here. That's why Guapo is up top. Right. Just run him up to the top. But um, they are awesome lizards, man. I've had these guys, as I mentioned, since 2004, and they were little babies, but as soon as they were able to not fit through the wire here, they lived out here. So I literally raised them from this big yep. to adults in this enclosure. So can you imagine what it's like to sit on the rocks and have two small little lizards come hauling butt from the either side of the enclosure and sit on your lap yeah. and eat off your hand and you know just be a part of it, and that's why we get as adults, we have this. Look at this. Yeah. Just there. I'm going to scratch him. He loves it. As close to a dog as you'll find Absolutely. in the reptile world. Just the best. What a honey. Come here. Yeah. And he loves his Come little here. third Look at eye those scratch. Good jowls. Who doesn't? Yeah. 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 Got Look it, at got that it. third eye. That's very prominent. Thank actually. you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, he's, he's really centered and focused his chi. And, uh, you know, this guy is close to levitation. I might rename him Siddhartha. Nice name, yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah, no, I approve of that message. Well, a guy, a guy, you know, throwing Elysium in his uh, book titles is definitely going to be new age, bro. Know. That's yeah, right. dude, we're going to hang with some crystals, and we're going to like feel the power. Yeah, yeah, let's not get carried away. So um, this is Lola, and she's a very beautiful rock iguana, very pretty gal. Uh, I, you know, I don't know about you, but I love seeing rock iguanas on rocks. It right, kind of gets right? me psyched. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, she's just kind of hanging out. 
getting some sun. This has been the first warm, sunny day in literally a week. Yeah. So, you know, it's interesting. I, I don't feed my animals when it's raining every day. Yeah. Um, nope. I allow, uh, they will not eat. They're not, they're not really going to be eating because their metabolism is slow. And so here, how I keep all my reptiles is I try and keep them as naturally as possible. Sure. Um, larger enclosures, I feed them a lot of things that I'll trim. So they're getting a lot of browse. Uh, but then through the inclement weather, I slow down their feeding and it's okay. It seems yeah. to help. We don't have a lot of overweight reptiles here, which is nice. Right, um, right. I think no, they look nice, yeah. perfect weight, perfectly yeah. healthy. So it's, yeah. it's just something I do. Um, and it seems to work for me. Fantastic. But these lizards are great. So, uh, like I said, um, probably my favorite cyclora species are the Cuban rock iguanas yeah. because they're, they're, yeah, they're really personable and I've had the best or the most ease in acclimating them with me. And I, uh, people ask me how I do it and it's simply, they do it. Right. They do it. I come in, I sit, I feed them. They start to trust me. Right. Um, it's just the way I've always done it. But after, you know, we mentioned Kevin, McCurley, sure, sure. and Crutchfield. After learning from those guys, there are some other things that I can do to speed that up. But, uh, yeah, it's a good time, man. Uh, these are primarily the lizards of Camp Kennan, Dave. Yes. This is, this is kind of a, a tour of the, the lizards I have. Well, I, I absolutely love them all. The croc monitor was awesome. These guys are awesome. I really want to get back in there and play more with Slinky, well, which we're going to do it. in just a second. But... Man, uh, Clint is already in love over here. I'm having a good moment. This skin, yeah, it's rough. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's 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 like supple and yet like sandpaper. Right. Very right. fine grit sandpaper, but it just it, it's 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 really even different than the the rhino iguanas by yeah. a lot. Rhino iguanas are much smoother. This but is, are they it, more supple? Oh, mm. See, that's it's a great supple. question. I don't yeah. think so. Have well, we have rhino iguanas. We can fondle if you want. Yeah, to find yeah, out. yeah. yeah. Well, you I, want to see how supple they are? I, I. I do these. These are just these are special moments. Yeah. <laughs> now that was a moment in itself, that's right? Actually. <laughs> and we have a lot of special moments when these three human beings get together. That's right. Some would say that's very right. special that's moments right. where and we no. might need to be institutionalized. All right, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. Clint did a video here on the tortoises and turtles. Correct. That's going to be on his channel. His link is below. If you're not already watching Camp Cannon, his link is going to be in the description below. Check out his channel as well. I am going to sit here and just love on this lizard. Oh my He's God. He's going to love, love on you. Guy. Yes, you can love face. on me all you want there, buddy. Not the hair, though. Not Don't the hair. Don't the touch hair. the hair. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet and rattle on.